the epistle of Ignatius to the Philadelphians, chapter 1, commends their bishop whom they have sent unto him, 5 through 12, warns them against divisions and schism. Ignatius, who is also called Theophorus to the church of God the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is at Philadelphia in Asia, you know, not the same as Asia, the continent, um, which has obtained mercy, being fixed in the concord of God, and rejoicing evermore the passion of our Lord, and being fulfilled in all mercy through his resurrection, which also I salute in the blood of Jesus Christ, which is our eternal and undefiled joy. So he's denying the joys of life and saying, well, the reference to the blood, that's my joy, okay? But isn't that a joy in life? Especially if they are at unity with the bishop and the presbyters who are with him and the deacons appointed according to the mind of Jesus Christ, whom he has settled according to his own will in all firmness by his Holy Spirit, which bishop I know obtained that great ministry among you, not of himself, neither by men, nor out of vain glory, but by the love of God the Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose moderation I admire, who by his silence is able to do more than others with all their vain talk, for he is fitted to the commands as the harp to its strings. Wherefore my soul esteems his mind towards God most happy, knowing it to be fruitful in all virtue, all and perfect, full of constancy, free from passion, and according to all the moderation of the living God. Wherefore, as become the children of both the light and of truth, flee divisions and false doctrines. But where your shepherd is, there do ye, as sheep, follow after. For there are many wolves who seem worthy of belief, that with a false pleasure lead captive those that run in the course of God. But in the concord they shall find no place. Abstain therefore from those evil herbs which Jesus Christ does not dress, because such are not the plantation of the Father. Not that I have found any division among you, but rather all manner of purity. Kind of the different um, view in the, Islam, in the Islamic world, it's everything's permissible unless there's a reason to say it's not permissible. Um, but remember that Jesus is, is said, oh, you know, he came to save the lost of Israel. It's, you know, his message, the, the physical being, was supposed to be of, uh, you know, local and timed variety, it sounds like, from that. So what are the herbs that are acceptable? Um, for as many as are of God and of Jesus Christ are also with their bishop, and as many as shall with repentance return into the unity of the church, even these also should be the servants of God, that they may live according to Jesus. Be not deceived, brethren. If anyone follows him that makes a schism in the church, he shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If anyone walks after any other opinion, he agrees not with the passion of Christ. Wherefore, let it be your endeavor to partake all of the same Holy Eucharist, which is something the Gnostics practice and the Mithric people practiced and for there is but one flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ and one cup in the unity of his blood, one altar, as also there is one bishop together with his presbyters and his deacons, my fellow servants, that so whatsoever ye do, ye may do it according to the will of God. Two. Desires their prayers and to be united but not 
to do that. Shouldn't be any other type of conservatism either, should it? Um, and it looks like I will leave two and three for the next program.